Even a salah, no matter what happens to a person inside their life, should not leave a salah. And just to narrate some strange things that people that we met, just to highlight the quest of when they understand what salah is. People about to do haram or sitting with the opposite gender, maybe involved in something, but they stand up when they read this salah. People trafficking drugs have stood up, read this salah. A person inside a nightclub walked out the nightclub, prayed this salah, went straight back inside it. A person might say, this is ajib, this is strange. But why? Because I understand no matter what sins I commit on the face of this earth, if I leave this one thing, that's I'm doomed. And most of these people, when you come back to them, you've seen that they have abandoned those evil actions. It took them a matter of time to abandon it, but they had that instilled within them that no matter what I'm doing right now, it's time for salah. People said to me quite clearly, they're inside the cinema watching a movie, time for maghrib, they're not just going to run out, they've just walked out, gone to the side, read this salah. Maybe you could make a mockery and a joke about it, what kind of salah is that? But they have that belief, that conviction, that it leads them out. And like it's people, when people that miss salah, why do you think people feel so emotional about it? It was a great discussion about qada or salah, about abandoning the prayer or prayers you missed inside your life. But some people feel so emotionally about that. I miss so many salawat inside my life. What should I do? And I started to comfort the individual that Allah forgives. He pardons whatever happened. He, he literally began to weep. He said, no. No, I need to make these prayers up in my life. I missed 10 years. I'm going to make them up. You can argue with him. Say that technically, yes, you're probably going to be forgiven. But he has that conviction that 10 years I never prayed. That I'm going to ask about this in front of Allah. I need to make it up. So we can give the technical answer. But his emotional feeling deep down inside his heart, he feels remorseful. He feels remorseful that I did not submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inside my life. I need to make this up inside my life. That's the remorse we should feel about missing salah inside our lives. Some of the folk I mentioned, walau salah wahida. Amdan, the person misses one salah, one salah intentionally. Some of the folk I mentioned, well, this is a minor view, but just to wake us up. One salah you miss in your life intentionally for anta kafir, your disbeliever. It's a minor view. But that's how deep they discuss it. One salah you miss intentionally inside your life. So we should be worried about this inside our lives.